your property, your land. We're tasting our 2019 vintage, um, Hamilton Russell Walker Bay Pinot Noir. Um, I did have a, comp a question earlier why the why the black band on the on the capsule, um, which we don't normally do. That's just to show people um, that it is in fact Walker Bay. You know, we, we don't typically um, have a Walker Bay Pinot Noir because of the fire in in 2019 that um, destroyed most of our crop. Um, we decided to to see what was available, and um, some of our very kind neighbours in the Yimmel and Arda um, uh, had some grapes available for sale, and we we decided to make um, Pinot Noir from those. So this wine's in fact only got 16% of Hamilton Russell fruit in the stuff that was least affected by the by the smoke. Um, on the label as well, you can see it just says Hamilton Russell, not the normal Hamilton Russell vineyard. So it, it was um, obviously quite a tragic event for us. Um, it was a beautiful crop, as I think most of you know, the, the 2019 was amazing. Um, but with the smoke down, you know, it would have been foolish of us to, to, to bark all that wine or the bulk of it. We, even though we had tastings and many people couldn't really pick up the smoke down, it is something that can develop in the wine and, and um, you know, make it unpleasant to drink. So I think the 2019 came out very well. Um, it's, it was nice in the sense that we could actually make a, a Yimmel and Arda wine. It, it, it says Walker Bay on the on the label, but we um, it, it's fruit from all three appellations within the Yimmel and Arda, um, made in the in the sort of Hamilton Russell style. I didn't do much different from a winemaking point of view as I would have, um, except we did ferment because of possible smoke taint. Um, fermentations were they weren't rushed but we, we didn't do extended skin contact or anything in this vintage um, and I think I think it's a beautiful wine it's a bit more fruit forward than Hamilton and Russell usually is and I think that if you if you taste some of the um, different uh, producers wines I think you know Hamilton Russell is usually the one that's got the least uh, fruit perfume and, and things on the on the palate it's usually a bit more structured um, but this for me is a very good uh, representation maybe of of a Himmel and Harder blend um, I really like the, the sort of aromatics on it I think it's it's nice and clean it's obviously our our usual oak regime um, and nice red and darker fruits nice spice on the palate from the oak um, and I think, you know, a wine that for for the um, for the crisis we were facing, one that turned out very well, um, thanks to thanks to help from the rest of the from the area. So we reach after this. It's it's basically, um, you know, it's 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 almost like a adopted child that we still love. It's it's not <laughs> it's not a you know it's very little of our own fruit in there, but it's it's. Um, I think there is still a, a, a house style which is very pleasant in the wine. 2019 without smoke tank was a yes. amazing vintage. Yeah. But uh, kudos to you guys for you know jumping in and doing all this work. I think a lot of us have learned um, from the trage tragedy. Mm. So yeah, it, it does explain on the back label for those of you that are interested. I know no one reads a back label in the wine industry, <laughs> but um, mm. it does explain why why it was yeah. done. And, and I think if the one stands out in a vertical one day, there's a story behind it. And yeah.